So you may be like me. You put in the milkweed, you put in the butterfly garden, the monarchs came, they laid their eggs and you saw those little eggs, those little itty bitty caterpillars, and then they disappeared. Where did they go? So here's what I did. I started collecting leaves with eggs on it or just freshly hatched caterpillars and I moved them into an enclosure to figure it out because if the leaves have been exposed to pesticide, I'll know. The caterpillars will die in the enclosure and I'll be able to verify that. Or if it's a predator problem, they'll be protected from the predator, so then I'll know it's that. Or, well, I've never done this before, so maybe I'll just end up killing them on accident because typically I kind of like to let things just go wild. So we can see our littlest babies there. And then let's see what's down in here. Okay, look at this. So it looks like we got a second and maybe a third in star. Not sure. Definitely there. I'll probably give some fresh leaves, but you can still see there's like an egg right here. I'm trying not to touch that, but there's an egg still right there. We've got our caterpillar, but these guys were about what? The same size yesterday. And you're still teeny tiny. Where are you? There you are. Teeny tiny. Okay, so fresh leaves for you on day two of me paying attention to you in my little closure. And there's our little one that was up high. Got to go on this, this tinier leaf. Because I think the little ones, they like to go near the top. So those leaves are a little bit softer. Maybe a little bit less fiber, a little more sugar. Who knows? Um, but now we got five little caterpillars in here. So we're, this is day two, and we're gonna see what happens. Is that teeny tiny? Yeah! He's a little baby. I think this is second and star? What do you think? It's so cool. Where's it going? Three baby caterpillars. Oh, they're very cute. Oh, they're very cute? Yeah, they that one's a bigger one. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see how we're doing with caterpillars. Oh my goodness. So we have one. Can you see it? One, two, three four and five and then there's a baby one there's six so we've got six caterpillars in here and there's lots of caterpillar poop well hello somebody's making it okay i think we can answer the question i don't think we've got a pesticide problem but i do think we have a predator problem and what really seems to help this guy my guess would be this milkweed has a lot of the native porterweed down low. And I'm wondering if they're going down there and hiding during the day. Because when I look, I noticed this the other day, there was a lot of the leaves were eaten down low. You see them right down here. It was probably kept them away from Mr. Wasp and Mr. Bird and all sorts of other friends. Well, hello. Well, that tells us something, doesn't it? Okay, just knows this. Came to a different angle and... Wait for it, where is it, where is it, where is it? There you are. More caterpillars. Okay, maybe we're turning the corner on you guys. I'm excited. Yay! Well, here's another one. Oh, you little stinkers, you've just been hiding really low. Oh, wait! And there's another one. Okay. Well, there you go. And here's what I noticed. Is it seems the way that we kind of are creating a bit more balance between the predators and my caterpillars is the porterweed. That native porterweed is kind of giving them a place to hide because those wasps, and I've seen those wasps, and I, maybe I've got some footage of it, they're going under the leaves, leaf by leaf. And that's the thing, is those caterpillars usually go under there. 
So wasps definitely are getting them, probably some of the lizards and for sure the birds because the birds are all over here because of the vegetable garden. So what I'm thinking is, is if you've got milkweed and you've got another low ground cover type plant next to it, that seems to really help out the survival rate of our caterpillars. So good to know, good to know. That's a good combination. We need to keep that going. Oh, they're eating. Nom, 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 nom. We got a caterpillar who's eating his skin right there. Oh, look at that, we got two, three. Let's see who's down here. And then there's four, five, six. So and they pooped a lot in there again. They pooped a lot in there. But you know what, that's why we started hanging the leaves here. So they didn't have to be in their poop and their poop could keep falling down. So let's go get like 10 leaves because we got one fifth in star. Okay. And then a bunch of fourth and stars. Can I, can I get another leaf? Yeah, you can totally get it. You can get, get lots of leaves with me. One? You can get more than one. Okay. Okay, let's go get some leaves. So, Connor kind of have gotten about 10 leaves to hold them over until this evening. There is a lot of caterpillar poop down there. I just don't really have time to clean before I head out to work. What I've been doing is hanging the leaves in the netting, just so that when they're eating and pooping, they can go and just like let it fall down because that's what would happen naturally. So those little guys are down there. But when I was picking leaves, I didn't realize but one of them has a caterpillar on it. So now we have seven. So this is very exciting. Did not mean to grab another caterpillar. Where are you? Do you see him in there? I don't know. He's on one of these big leaves. But yeah, so. We'll let them hang there and we'll see how we do until after work today. Yay. So it looks like hanging the leaves was a really good idea. Look at that. Five of them are just hanging out in the leaves. Now I had 10 leaves here this morning. And how many leaves do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like maybe one fell down in there. But of the 10 that I put in there, they've definitely eaten a bunch, and this one's almost gone. So that will help me figure out how many I need to go put in tomorrow, but I'll probably just do a whole nother 10 because they're all getting big really fast. Okay, so you can see our little container. I switched it up. I did like a lot of people do, right? You put that uh, paper towel in there because there's a lot of poop now, like way too much. But the the caterpillars definitely like hanging out on the leaves when they're hanging like this. And maybe tomorrow when I reset it up, I'll show you how I do it. But they definitely, when they're sleeping, I mean, they're not now because I had to pull those leaves off to make sure that I didn't like throw them out with the poop <laughs> or frass. I'm sorry, technical term. But even during the night, a bunch of them, I think five out of the seven in here slept up on those leaves. Um, only two of them were really sleeping down here. So this should make it a little bit easier and faster for me to clean out and just more leaves. So yesterday I put in 10 leaves and you can see what's left of the 10. And now today I put up 12 and then I'll check on it when I get home from work today. Okay. Okay, so you remember how I just cleaned this out this morning? This is how much they pooped. They poop a lot. And what did we do? We did 12 leaves, and here we are after work, and how many leaves are left? We've got one, two, three, four, five, and about four partials, kind of. Maybe one down there. Man, they are hungry little guys. I'm definitely gonna have to put more in. I'm gonna probably put oh, 16 in tomorrow. But look, this one, and you know what's interesting? This one, she's big, or he's big, hanging out by himself. This one's hanging out by himself. There's one over here hiding in the back by itself. And then the other four, all in this one leaf. What's wrong with them? You got all these empty leaves, go eat them. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's about to dump rain. Yay for being outside in nature. So here we are next morning. 
You've eaten down the leaves a little bit more. So we got one, two, three, four hanging out on leaves. We got two hanging out in the frass down here. But the reason I haven't opened up the zipper yet is number seven. Can you see that? Number seven is starting to do the J right on the zipper, but not on the zipper, but like next to it. So we're going to have to try to be very careful getting stuff in and out now. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I got everybody out and back in. Here we go. Can we see back in there? Everybody's back in. I did try to do as quickly as possible. That's a terrible location. I'm going to try not to fuss with it at all this evening so it can get all the way in its little chrysalis. Like, right in the middle of the zipper. I can't even, like, just halfway do it. Ugh. But... A little trick I had because one of these caterpillars wanted to hang on to the paper towel instead of letting go is you just offer them a leaf to climb onto and then you put them back in there. So that little guy right there, not little, fifth and star, got him in there. All right, off I go to work. I hope you're okay. Be your J. Be the J you want to be. Okay, let's check in here. Who's here? Oh my goodness. How many fifth and stars do we have now? One, two, three, with a big old fourth and star. Kind of chucked all the leaves down there instead of hanging them because I was worried about impacting my little J guy. Let's see if you can see him or her. And there we go. There's the chrysalis. Can you guys see that? Not really. Not really, but it's there. Let's see if I can go around. There it is. So just going to work and already we've got it. Whoa! Ugh, this is gonna be such a problem. I hope that's okay. Are you okay? Be okay, it's okay. And our little our our smaller fourth and star slash maybe the yeah, I think they're all fourth and two and star fourth and star is up at the top. But man, y'all are growing fast. Down there again. Look at y'all. Oh, this is such a pain. I think one of these guys might be ready to go. Make another chrysalis. I'm going to figure out how to remove chrysalises. Put them somewhere better. Because that's a terrible location. Ugh. Mo cat pillars, mo problems. All right. So these caterpillars are making it harder and harder to, for us to access them because you see that? That's the original chrysalis. There's a second. There's a third and it's only been 24 hours. Oh my word. And we've got a bunch more down here. I know it's such a mess because it's really hard to get in there. So I've been looking into how to go and get these guys out because we're gonna have some problems, I think. Eey. But we'll work through it, it's okay, we'll work through it. But what's really neat, I don't know if you can see this on the plastic, you can see the webbing. Let's see if I can show it to you. You see how it's like misty here? here. Well, that is the silk that that chrysalis goes and puts down in order to be able to hold on to something even like plastic. Isn't that neat? All right, onward to the next portion. So with only four left and they're all in their fifth instar, I grabbed a big branch of milkweed and I chucked it in there because I just, I can't go in and clean out all that pee and poop. Ugh, I mean frass. So what I'm trying to do is give them something to get them up and above, kind of like it would be in nature. And it looks like my small uh, fifth instars are already trying to get up there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. That just kind of gets them up and out of the, the mix. And I pointed it so it goes more that way because then hopefully everybody doesn't keep building their chrysalises along the zipper. And then I can come and remove them a little bit later. Oh, oopsie. Can you see that? Off we go, up there. Oh, the other one found it. The other two, I think, are uh, just being quiet because I moved the whole cage when I put it in there. 
that. Oh, okay. This looks like this will be better. This is to hopefully get them to the end because honestly, that one there looks like it's about to be get a chrysalis within the next 24 hours. That one probably in the next 48. And then these ones maybe, I'm going to guess like 72 hours from now. Then they'll all be in chrysalises and then I can take them all out, clean this whole mess up, and figure out what's next. Okay. There we go. And here we are the next morning. You can see they've eaten down that stem pretty well. And I just added another one for them. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like someone's been adding silk all here, which is just gonna make my life even harder with getting these chrysalises out. But I've watched a bunch of videos of how other people have done it, and I think I got an idea how I'm gonna do it. So maybe today I'll start moving some out. Keep growing, my little guys. Keep growing. See you later today. Show you all this. See this? Caterpillar is making silk to hang the chrysalis from. So we got one getting ready. And there's another one. And of course, all on the zipper, because why not? Zipper's a good place apparently to hang out. <laughs> Can y'all see this? Let me see. There you go. See? Making lots and lots of silk. Good morning. And look what we've got. We've got a third chrysalis that started last night. Yes, you can play over there, sweetie. And then, oh no. Okay, so we've got our first chrysalis, second chrysalis, a new chrysalis, and we got someone going into the J. Good morning, everybody. And then, of course, that one. So by the end of today, five. And then we've got two more. Can you see them? There they are. And there's our two last fifth in stars, and I'm guessing tomorrow or the next day, everybody will be in a chrysalis, and it'll be time to relocate all of them. So we had, a, yeah, I know, we weren't ready for the butterfly to come yet. I was gonna move all the chrysalises, and boom. A glass yeah. There it is. How do we get it out? Uh, very, very, very carefully. Oh my goodness. And it's nice. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm not gonna bite you. Yeah. I actually had um, butterfly crawl on me before I was in tickles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After it stops raining a little later, how about we take it out so we can go get some nectar? Yeah. But, but, yeah. The, but the butterfly's gonna get wet. Well, not now. We're gonna wait till after it's done raining. Oh. We'll take it over to the milkweed. Oh, oh. Unless it's ready to fly, then we'll just Whoa. let it fly. In fact, they wings. He's flapping wings like me. Yeah, are you flapping your wings? Yeah, like a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it flew. It flew down there. It's on the ball. It flies. It flies. It's it's flies. It's right down on the bottom. Wow. It flies. Wow. It's on the so pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. Looks like we have um, a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, but it's, it's okay. Got some yummy ironweed for you. <gasps> Yay! It got it. It's stinky. Next day, who's in here? Another, oh. oh, another butterfly ready to go. All right, we're gonna have to get you out of there. I know, I can't clean up the mess. What do we think, boy or girl? Oh, looks like we got a girl. Yep, it's a girl, it's a girl, it's a girl. All right, I think it's ready to go. So let's take it out. Be so gentle. <laughs> Uh, 
challenge me. <laughs> there are the challenges of getting the butterfly out of the patio. Careful on these. Yeah, gotta watch out for the pokies. All right, let's go put her over on the coreopsis. Or do you think we should put her over here again? Um, on the on, on the iron weed. Yeah, yeah. They seem to like the iron. There you go, lady. Oh, she's drinking already. Oh, she must be so hungry. You see? You see? Oh, oh, she's so hungry. I know, we kept her in there pretty long. Now she's got lots of nectar with iron. My necks love iron so much. I know, they do, they like this. Yeah, if you if that's their first plant you give to them, like they're just gonna start drinking. Yep. In like five seconds. Here we are. Look at this. Four chrysalises left. Aren't they beautiful? Ugh. I just think they're so pretty. I know the lighting's not very good because it's early morning before I go to work. I'm a little worried because it looks like we might have a couple more that are gonna emerge, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, and Tropical Storm Elsa is gonna be hitting our area. So I'm not really quite sure what we're gonna do. Um, I, you know, nature. The whole idea was to figure out the predator problem, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to think this through about what we should do. But we got the last three, four that are getting ready to emerge by 24 to 48 hours now. Yay. So it's official, uh, Hurricane Cat 1 Elsa is going to be hitting us. And while I'm a Floridian who, honestly, I ain't worried about a Cat 1, I am worried about these little guys sitting out here and getting beat up by 75 mile per hour winds because it looks like we're going to take a direct hit. So in the garage you're going to go to be nice and safe and also avoid all the clutter from my kids out on the patio. Now you may be wondering, why are you storing them in the garage and not inside your house? Well, it's not really a difference that makes a difference at this time of year, but there's been studies that have been shown that these will not migrate if they're in like controlled temperature areas. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference. They need to migrate, you know, with hurricane season happening. So I'm gonna keep them in the garage. It's basically like the same temperature as being out on the patio. And that way they can just do their natural thing. Also, because I can't clean up the poop yet, I really don't want like a bunch of poop sitting around in the house. So they'll be fine in here. Got like a really strong garage door. It's Miami-Dade County, strong garage door. And if you haven't been and seen around the state and don't understand the difference between codes in the state, that's all I gotta say about that. So this was a great experiment and I loved learning so much about the different monarch butterfly life cycle stages. The thing is, is that a couple of things I learned, one, keep your caterpillars outside. They might not migrate when they're supposed to if you put them inside. Another thing is I learned that there were five instars. Originally I thought there were only three, but apparently there's five and that's pretty cool. The next thing I learned is how fast they go through milkweed leaves. Holy cow, a lot. Which leads to the next thing I learned, which is that they poop a lot. You may call it frass, butterfly raising people out there, but it's poop and there's a lot of it and it comes really, really fast. But my kids had a fun time looking at the poop, so I mean, I guess I'm not mad about it. And then the next thing I learned is as well, with the heat in Florida, while I looked at a lot of time estimates about how long they would be in each instar, getting to the next size, the reality is, is here in Florida in the summer heat, they moved through fast. 
and where they said like a chrysalis would be from 10 to 14 days most of ours came out in nine so definitely we've got the right temperatures for getting from a itsy bitsy little baby caterpillar to a full-grown butterfly really fast so if you're going to do this in a place like florida like be prepared that in like the summer months it goes so fast like so fast but i think another question is is would i do this again slash would i do this regularly um the answer is no i'm not going to do this regularly staying on top of those little poop monsters is just like that's too much that Minarch life cycle went too fast for me to keep up with work and the kids and the dogs in the garden. No, I just can't keep up with it all. I love letting wildlife be, um, but it was a really cool experiment. Would I do it maybe again in the future just like it was a one-off? Yeah, maybe, but I don't wanna do it regularly. <laughs> I don't wanna have, I think there's some really great other channels out there where they show and they raise lots and lots of caterpillars, which is super cool, but it just takes a lot of time and effort I guess from the other side though, it's really nice if you've never had a pet before or you're used to having pets, this is a good way to teach your kids responsibility because um, it's not like a whole life, well it is a whole life of an animal, but it's not like an animal that's gonna live 10 years. This is literally like, you know, six to eight weeks of dealing with this and then, you know, if you felt like it was too much responsibility, like you can totally move on. And if you wanna learn more about how to attract more monarch butterflies to your garden, go ahead and check out this. Or maybe you wanna see how to build your own butterfly garden, check out this. Or maybe you just wanna see other stuff on my channel, check out this, and YouTube thinks you'll like this. Okay, I'll see you soon, bye.